Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Lucky Wolf and today I'm going to be playing some VGC Regulation D on the VGC Regulation D ladder. And I'm going to be using this team uh, built by Santino. I will have uh, Twitter and Pokepaste and everything like that linked in the description down below. So please make sure to check Santino out. I would really appreciate it. We have two, count them, two choice items. I like, I like a good choice item. I like a good Zoom choice item. Um... And then we have, I really like, I actually haven't used a ton of Goggles Urshifu, but I really like the idea of Goggles, Terra Water Goggles Urshifu. So this way, Terra Water, so you still have the double stab, always crit, through protect benefit. But then you also have the Goggles, so that way you can't be Rage Powdered. So if your opponent does have something like a Moongus, whether it's Rocky Helmet or Citrus, but specifically Rocky Helmet, if the Moongus does go for Rage Powder, not only do you ignore the Rage Powder because of the Goggles, but you also then don't get hit by the Rocky Helmet. So I think it's a really nice tech. Uh, we also have Assault Vest Rillaboom with U-Turn. I'm a big fan of the U-Turn. Let's you reset terrain. Let's you reset Trick Room. I got Trick Room on the brain, y'all. Sorry. It, it lets you reset... <laughs> Nailed it. Um, it lets you... <laughs> How much of this do I have to cut out? It lets you <laughs> reset Terrain and reset Fake Out. Fake Out and Trick Room are very different moves. But it lets you, re it lets you reset that, which can help you stall Trick Room. I guess. I don't know. I, got to, I, I streamed today for like four and a half hours. Um, and I was using a lot of Trick Room, so I think I just have Trick Room on the brain. But, let's ignore that and get into some games. First game of the day. Oh, we see Dragapult. Okay. I have used a fair bit of Dragapult myself. This team is Double Ghost. We definitely have a fast mode. It looks like it could very well be a Tail Room team. You could set the Trick Room for your... Heatran, and then you also have Tailwind for your faster mode, like your Dragapult, your Chien Pao, and your Fluttermane. Okay. If I were my opponent, if I were my opponent, I would probably go... I would probably go Trick Room into this team instead of playing the Speed Wars. So, I can bring the Intimidate... However, the Intimidate will not affect the Dragapult as Dragapult pro- It could be Infiltrator, look, I don't know. It could be Infiltrator, but when I see a Dragapult, I usually think that it is going to be Clear Body so that you can't be Intimidated. I think I go Tailwind here. I wonder if I can Tailwind Zoom with my Flutter. I'm gonna try this. Terra Grass Heatran could be an issue, but I have ways to hit it super effective with the Tornadus as well as with the Chien Pao. And if they do go Terra Grass, that means if I lock myself into something like Moonblast or Dazzling Gleam with the Flutter Main, then I will be hitting it for neutral instead of resistant damage. Okay. Okay. I cannot scary face the... Chien Pao, as it is a dark type and Prankster does not work on dark types. Rare, okay. I think my opponent is forced... I think my opponent. Uh, I think my opponent is forced to tailwind here. I could be incorrect, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna swap in my Ursh. The nice thing is because we are not a booster item on Flutter, it feels a little bit less bad to swap out the Flutter. Okay, they do tailwind. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're both gonna set up our tailwinds. I could very well be losing my Tornadus here, but does my opponent just want to let me get a massive dazzling gleam off? I'm gonna say no. Okay, my opponent did want to let me get a massive Dazzling Gleam off. That is kind of wild. Okay, so I really could have just clicked the Dazzling Gleam button. 
Life orb! Okay, we got a life orb alert. Okay, I think I go Crash. I think I go Crash, Terra. Hold on. Did you have a really good on this team? No. Okay, cool. Okay, I go Crash. I think I go Crash Surging here. And this feels decently safe for me, I think. Not a great turn of one. Simply because I really could have clicked the Dazzling Gleam button. But I wasn't sure if they were going to go for Crash onto my... Flutter. Secret, okay. We are Sash. Take some more Life Orb damage. If we connect, this should be a double KO for us. We do hit the Crash. I got a little scared. I was holding my breath. Oh, you're Sash! Oh, I really did not expect the Sash there. Okay. As long as there's no... Their Air Slash. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. So many things. Okay. But this is a KO for us. Yeah. Okay. I did not expect- I haven't seen a Sash Tornadus in a minute. Did not expect the Sash there. So we're both brought down to Sash. The end game can get pretty disastrous. That should be Flutter coming out. Yes, let's see what item you are. Okay, you're not Booster. You're not Booster, okay. I think I go for this. They're gonna tear up. Makes sense. Probably fairy, but I guess it could be water type, which would be very bad for me, but it is fairy, okay. They okay, I literally mentioned this play. Okay, they're faster anyway, never mind, it doesn't matter. I literally mentioned that play, okay. Oh, Urge is alive. Oh, that's it. nutty. Okay. Absolutely nutty. So we go R Surging here. That's still- yeah, that's an easy KO for us. Okay. And then it depends what their last Mon is. Okay, so the, so the whole thing there is I actually mentioned this play literally two turns beforehand. You ca as tempting as it is, if the Chi and Pao is still a dark type, you cannot go for you cannot go for the scary face on the Chi and Pao because Prankster does not work on dark types, which was added in Sword and Shield. And your last mon is Heatran. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't really think I have a choice. Okay, actually, what is my out here? They could detect their Tornadus. They could detect their Tornadus here. Okay, we go for the detect. Okay. This means we should have the game now. Wait, did they Terra yet? No, they still did not Terra. Okay, hold on. Wait, did they? Yes, they did. Sorry, sorry. No, we should have the game. Have... They are slamming heavily! Okay, they did read that nicely, but I really didn't want to risk a scary face. I guess if they are really, really speedy, because we only have 40, we have 44 speed investment. I guess they could also be Rocky Helmet, which would be bad, but this is a wild game. 
They're not rocking out. Okay, I was holding my breath. Okay, yeah, even if they're Ogwall Fairy or some sort of Pinch Fairy. Oh, what a game! <laughs> Dang! Now that was a fast paced game. Okay, so looking at that game, I really, really, really could have stayed in that first turn and just clicked the zoom dazzling gleam button and very well should have. My switch felt reasonably, my switch felt reasonably safe and I am happy that I did have Flutter in that end game. But losing my Tornadus and all I got to do was set Tailwind was less than ideal. So maybe, I just didn't want to, I just didn't want my Flutter to get instantly KO'd. We do have some, we do have some investment. We have 76 defense investment, 68 HP investment. So I think that that's the big turn I want to kind of look at. I think alternatively, I could have protected the Chien Pao on the Dazzling Gleam. That way, if I protect Chien Pao on the Dazzling Gleam, then I at least keep the... I get to keep one of my pieces around and I get to keep things spread damage. So I think that's kind of what I would look at, but it's just really funny that I had literally mentioned going for a scary face on the Chien Pao because it's so dang tempting and then my opponent literally went for the same play. But... Fast game one! Fast game one! So I guess let's just get into, uh, game two! Next game of today- oh. Okay, sorry, I'm going the- oh, the- oh, um, is for the- is for the- I believe that is a Barascuda. So we see both a Barascuda and a... Sp Sprigatito? That's the first form. That's the first form. It's gonna come to me. Florigato, I'm pretty sure that's the second form. I can remember every name except for the final form. Um, but we see cat. We see grass cat starter. Okay, double steel type. Double flying type. Double water type. Okay, cool. I don't believe- Oh wait, they do have a trick room setter. The cat, okay, okay. I'm not gonna get caught off guard. The cat can set trick room. So it's something to look out for. I kind of want to leave the same thing if I'm being completely honest. I think I can probably do this. We are Terra Ghost. If I feel like I'm going to be threatened by E-Speed, but if I do feel like I'm going to be threatened by E-Speed, they do have two Dark Types and a Ghost Type to kind of combat that. I do like Rillaboom here. I, I do, I, I do like Rillaboom here, and if they're gonna give me rain? Okay, let's do this. Let's try this. I, oh my gosh, I can't believe that Pokemon's name is escaping me! I'm sure y'all screaming at me. I'm sure y'all are screaming at me right now. Hold on, I really want to remember it. Sprigatito. Okay, it's not Sprigatito, it is... I don't, I like, I don't want to even look at the screen. I don't want to look at the screen. Okay, good, we don't see it, so I can keep on thinking about it. Okay, we see Goldie? Plus, okay. I don't have a great, I don't have great swap bins for this. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do, do 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 I kind of want to go Shadow Ball, but just not knowing if it's, not knowing if it's multi-scale, I kind of want to break that. I'm going to move last here. They can tear, oh, okay. They can tear a one, but they can't tear a both. Pelipper, okay, so, okay, okay. I don't hate this turn for me. I wish I had Tailwinded. I really do wish I had Tailwinded, but I don't hate this turn because I still, if I want to, I still have Sunny Day in the back. And I do get my Urshian. Could be worse, and they, okay, they rip a Terra immediately. That is also very good to note. I feel like I mostly see Terra normal, but it really could be flying. Okay. Terra flying was so, we definitely saw a lot more Terra flying Dragonite in earlier series. So it's kind of good to see Terra flying again. We do get a spicy little Moonblast, okay. You do hit the Hurricane. Nice, okay, oh my gosh. I like watched that slow-mo. Oh. Okay, I was not expecting that to KO. 
I was not expecting that to KO. But this should be... Let's just swap in for this. I am going to do this, and I'm going to Tailwind. I definitely don't want a Sunny Day here, but I'm going to do this. I was not expecting Special Dragonite. The Special Dragonite caught me very off guard, but we're in rain. The, this Dragonite did Terra, so this is no longer resisted. We are in rain, and I'm Terra Water. We will get the speed advantage. Dragonite cannot protect here. I mean, they can protect, but it won't matter. We get our Tailwind, so we should be taking the Dragonite. I wish I had Dazzling Gleam last turn, though, I will be honest. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. We're absolutely taking the Dragonite, okay. I wish I had gotten some damage on the Pelipper, which is a little bit frustrating, to say the least. I could have broken Sash so that another- so that a Surging could have maybe KO'd this next turn. Okay, you do Hurricane, so no speed control for you. And we live... And don't get confused, okay? We live and don't get confused, so very big turn. Bear Skewed comes in, okay. Now I kind of do... It's funny, because I kind of do want a sunny day. But I don't want to weaken my own moves, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, now we're alive. That's good. Okay, cool. Okay. And they they get um their defenses get weakened and their life orb. Okay. So they are faster than us. Oh, and they're gone. Okay, cool. Okay. So if we can take out this Pelipper, it's a huge turn for us. I don't think we can from this range, but let's see. No, it abs it's nowhere close. No, not Rocky Helmet, though. Oh, it's a roll. I think that first one- Nah, it's- Nah, nah, it's not a roll. Yeah, yeah. The first one was a really low roll. I think the second one was, like, a high roll. And then that last one, I don't even know what it is. Hurricane, okay. But I still have a- Okay, so I have Rillaboom with an A- With AV. Plus, still, a full health- Tornadus. So let's see what their last Mon is. I wonder if they have Tailwind. Oh, Golden Go! I knew that. I absolutely knew that. Okay. Now I'm gonna knock off. I think I just knock off Bleak Wind here, and I should be okay. Even if they want to go for Wide Guard, that's fine. They don't, so I get to take their Pelipper. I do the tiniest bit of chip damage, but I'll take any little chip damage I can get, and I get a big knockoff off here for most of the HP. We are AV, so we should live any- we should absolutely live this Naked Rain. Oh, Tornadus also takes that very handily. Okay. So I would say this game, I probably should have known better. I think I should have known better that, um, I think I should have known better that Urshifu was not going to outspeed the Barrascuta in rain. We survived, like, luckily the spread, because this is, this is, we're pretty bulky, we have 156 HP investment, um, and a little bit for defense investment, so it's like, this one, it really felt like the spread kind of saved me here, you know what I mean? Um... I really felt like the spread saved me. Uh, that's something I probably should have known, though I don't know if I had a better... Like, I, I don't necessarily want to protect there. I don't necessarily want to protect there because I want to use all my Tailwind turns as best as I can. But I think that would that turn would probably be a turn that I looked at. But I would say we have a reasonably favorable rain matchup, as we do have the AV Rillaboom, as we do have our own Urshifu to take advantage of the rain. We also have 
sunny day if we wanted to change the rain, but if we don't want to change the rain, then we have 100% accurate bleak winds. So it feels like we really have a pretty decent match up in terrain. I think that really just kind of showed how, but that, those were both really quick games, so well, let's just get into a third. Third and final game of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do have a... Depending on what kind of Ursh that is, we do have a one, two, three, possible form on mirror. Am I saying that correctly? Tornadus, Flutter, Landris, and maybe the Ursh. Well, we both have Ursh, it just depends on what kind of Ursh. Okay. Can I zoom again? I think maybe, I think I definitely want, can I go late game Tornadus though? I feel like, I feel like, can I go, do I want to go late game Tornadus? I guess I should say. If I do choose to go late game Tornadus, can I survive the onslaught of their attack and then get my Tailwind up? We are Mental Herb, so I'm not worried about them having a faster taunt than me. I think that's just the big question here. I haven't brought Landers one time, so let's bring Landers. What if I'm, I just gonna do this and then hope that these two can finish it in the late game, I think? I think a real case could be made for Chianpao here. I can't tell if I'm bringing Landers because I haven't brought Landers, so I wanna show off the Landers, or if I'm bringing Landers because this is the correct time to bring Landers. I don't know if I'm the only person that does that, but. A plus lead card. A plus lead card. But I'm really hoping I can kind of show off Bandit Landris. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I think I'm okay with this. All things considered. Icy Wind Tornadus questionable for me. But we see it's either a speed tie or on the faster Landris. I just go water right off the bat. I... In a game like this, I don't love, unless it, unless it feels really clear cut, I don't love ripping the Terra right here. I can probably get in my Ursh here if I wanted. I'm just gonna try to, I'm just gonna try to go for chip damage here, I think. I wanna conserve my Intimidate. They're gonna Terra, okay. Terra flying. Terra water. Is that Terra rock or Terra ground? I get the Terra hats confused. I've only been playing this game for months. They do TW, so I'm really happy I have my Tailwind in the back. There's still a minus one here. They're gonna go for rock side. This will do damage, but I'm I'm confident in in living. Yeah, I, I live quite handily. We get a nice, spicy Dazzle off, and we flinch. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Yep, 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 yep. Um, really unfortunate flinch, but, you know. Really unfortunate flinch, because then I could have had my Tornadus in, and I wouldn't have had to protect my Flutter. Sad, but that's part of the game, I guess. Mm -mm 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 I'm still- I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna Dazzle, unfortunately. I don't think I have a choice. If they could miss? For the f speed drop? Because obviously... Nope. <laughs> Everything going wrong this game. Um, yeah, like, th th this is really a game where a flinch, I think, fundamentally changed the game. Unfortunately. Because I could have outsped next turn. I would have had my Tailwind and I could have outsped. So it just, like, kind of feels bad, you know? I would have still had Landris around for the Intimidate, and I would have- I could have even swapped it back into my Landris. But, that's part of the game. Sometimes, sometimes a flinch, a, a miss, can just completely change the dynamic of the game. Okay, let me see- let me see what you have. Yeah, it's probably over from here, honestly. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's, it's over from here. Th th this is this is just one where a, a flinch just changed the whole dynamic of the game. And again, that happens. That that's that's part of the thing about rock slide. You know, I'm sure my opponents miss their fair share of rock slides. Hands, yep. It's gonna take a lot of damage for us to be able to hit this hands. A lot of damage. That's why I needed my flutter main to be around. Or I needed my lander. Like, I needed one of those two to be around. Which, again, I would've, but... Flinches do exist in this game, so... Unfortunately, not, not too much analysis there. Taunt, that doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but we still get the- we get the Tailwind here. And they didn't get any damage on my Ursh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go Surging. Now, if we could double connect our Bleak Wind, that would be pretty big. Okay, it's actually half damage. Are you Citrus? No. They've only turned a Tailwind left? Okay. Unfortunate. But I have to do this. I have no other choice. Fake out, yep. Okay, if I could hit this, that would be insane. Sunny Day. Okay, so they're also running Sunny Day? But if I double- Yes! Let's go! Okay. Speed drop. Pretty huge. Okay. Yeah, there should be no way out here. I'm really trying to think. I do believe an Aqua Jet will still KO. We are Terra Water, but I don't know. I don't want them to set up Tailwind again. Maybe I should have gone after the hands, though. It still would have come down to me hitting my move, I think. We do hit. Single target. Close. Close. Okay, they're gonna take themselves out. Yeah, but nah, that's game. I think I maybe had to hit the hands? But I think it was still gonna be tough either way, but I think I should've hit the hands there. I do think that end game was a misplay from me. But, but tough, tough, tough game. Just like getting flinched immediately so that I couldn't swap out. We do get to see the last Pokemon at the very least, though it is Heatran. Okay. Yeah, I think we would have had a shot here. I do want to see how much this does. But cool to see, I haven't seen a- I have not seen a Terra Rock- that is Rock, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen a Terra Rock Landorus in a minute. So that's kind of cool to see, honestly. Just, just, just an unfortunate early game, you know? The burn does not matter. Is it a little salt in the wound? Yeah, just a little. You know, just a little. But, but this, th this is really, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win games sometimes by flinching or by, like, by getting a flinch or by having my opponent miss a move. You know, that's just part of the game. Definitely unfortunate one. I think I had a good game plan of having late game tailwind. I just need to not get flinched there. So, so what I was going for there is essentially I get I get the U turn off last to make sure because I knew I would live any moves. So I get the U turn off last, make sure I get my tornadus in for free. Then I go for tailwind, dazzling gleam. I get huge damage off, and I have the tailwind advantage as I set mine later. And then I also then I set up for my Urshifu in the back. So and I still have I would still have intimidate alive and everything like that. So it definitely felt like my game plan was solid. Mine's getting flinched and again. That happens sometimes, but really really fun team. And please. Um, make sure to check out the creator. I will link everything in the description down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you have an amazing day. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If I'm exactly none of that, I do hope everybody has an absolutely amazing day. Okay, bye!